Hello everyone. Um, today we'll see how to configure the xdebug with herd and in PHP Storm. Okay. So let's uh, directly jump into the configuration. First, uh, we need to see which PHP version that I'm currently using in my system. So let's check herd first. So I have selected 8.3 here so what i am going to do is that i am going to stop all the services in herd then we'll go to the terminal and see which php version that i'm using so you could see that i'm using 8.3 here and i don't have any xdebug option here enabled here so let's see the INI file so I'll check with which PHP so that I'll be getting the path so the current path is this one okay so let's uh, check the PHP INI file so that I could edit it and add the configuration required configuration for that I'll go to my PHP storm and uh, we'll just go to any of the file like I already opened a Laravel project here uh, I'm going to add okay let's go to the index.php here it is fine and we'll just write oh, sorry php info and I'll die here okay now let's run this project with simple php artisan step so uh, php artisan so, so i have already written an alias for that so just php so it's fine okay let's check port okay you can see it here and the php ini file is in this particular folder okay let's get into that folder first so we'll go to here cd okay this is the folder so i'll select i'll open the file with And I um, will just open the file with an um, okay. So here is the file. So as you could see, I need to add the uh, debug option here. So let's go to the insert mode. You can select any ID to edit this. Okay, now I need to add the debugger uh, configuration. So for that, I'll just check the herd documentation here. You have the herd documentation. So here you could see that this is the configuration code that I need to add. So we just need to copy this. Copy and well paste it here so we just need to you just need to check your version I'm using 8.3 so 8.3 is fine for me and uh, this one it's not actually required so we'll just remove those two items okay we are done now it save okay now we have added the configuration in php ini let's see which minus v so as you could see here the x debug is 3.3 .3. and uh, yeah we have added the configuration to the php ini file now let's move on to our D, uh, ide 
uncomment these files okay so just go to the configurations of your IDE like PHP storm configurations and check the PHP here so before setting it up like we need to select an interpreter here so I'm using 8.3 it's fine click here you just need to check the correct path here so if yours is not added you can just add the correct path here okay so in order to get the path for this one you just need to check here which PHP and you can copy this path and paste it here so if the debugger is enabled it will show the debugger okay now we have configured that okay and uh, the debug option is also enabled okay and now we need to install the extension in our browser so that our ID I mean the debugger could listen to the okay for the installing the extension I need to go to the manage extension here and from here you need to select the X debug so this is for X debug helper click on to it add to brave add extension okay this has been added now let's move on to our project then go to the extension I'll pin it off and you right click on it right click the debug option okay okay so by right click the extension you can see here options in options you need to select PHP storm so that the session key will be passed okay save it now we are done then go to the project so project root so I have um, my file here I'll just add a debug point here now this is added and you can see here started listening for incoming go to a console and just okay current file okay so all the configurations are done now let's go uh, to the browser and uh, we'll refresh this yeah so we are here so the debugger is on okay now and this is one okay now the debugger is properly working and connected all good so this is a simple way to configure the X debugger in your IDE PHP storm using herd that's it thank you